Hi, I'm Craig Bell. And I'm John Perkins. John, a crowd has gathered on the street corner one day where a man had collapsed in the middle of the street. They were trying to help when a lady stepped out of the crowd and said, I'm a nurse. Step back, everybody. And she pushed back a gentleman who was trying to help out of the crowd and said, I got this. I'm a nurse. And the man stepped back and said, okay, okay. But when you get to the part where you say, call the doctor, I'm right here. <laughs> 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 In Matthew chapter 12, Brother Craig, Jesus was teaching. He was healing the people. He was doing miracles. And they, the crowd, which a bunch of hypocrites and Sadducees and Pharisees, they brought this man that had a withered hand to Jesus. And they asked him a question with this man in the audience, and they brought him up, and they asked him, is it lawful to heal a man on the Sabbath? Mm, mm. Trick question. Trick question. They, and the Bible actually says that they asked him that, tempting him. And Jesus knew their opinions and knew that they was going to find fault in what he was going to do. But the, the crowd, the hypocrites and the crowd, the world, I'm going to say, didn't affect what Jesus could have done or did do. He asked the man to come, and he asked the man to stretch forth his hand. And he stretched forth a hand, and Jesus healed him. And the Bible said his other hand was just like the one that was healed. Yeah. And in essence, they were, they were trying to tell Jesus what he could and couldn't do. Yeah. <laughs> the, the world was trying to tell Jesus how to be Jesus. <laughs> Aren't you so glad we don't try to tell God how to do things these yeah. days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although yeah. sometimes a lot of people do, you know, tell God how they want their prayers answered, tell God how they think yeah. things to, needs to be yeah. You know, what kind of God he needs to be. Yeah, and, and not only that, the world's telling us how to run our services, how we ought to expect people how to dress, how we ought to preach our messages, what we can and what we can't say. And, and I told my church last Sunday, preaching on this very thing, that it's none of the world's business what we teach. It's none of their business how extreme we are on our positions that we take. Yeah, the church that tries to mold into the world's mold isn't winning the world. No. In fact, they want the church to be different. The world already has plenty of what they have. Yeah, They want something different. Yeah, And, and the gospel surely offers that. Yeah, we, we need to have our church live in their, their life in such a way the world wants a desire to be like the church, not the des church desires to be like the world. Amen. In Matthew chapter 21, starting in verse 23, Jesus was preaching and teaching in a synagogue right before this, and a group of people comes in, and they, they stop Jesus. They really interrupt Jesus, and they said, what authority do you have to say these things and to do the things that you're doing? And Jesus, again, talking to the mob, knowing that they're upset with what he's teaching, what he's doing, things that he's preaching, he says in verse 24, and Jesus answered and said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, which if you tell me, I will likewise tell you by what authority I do these things. So Jesus is saying, I have authority, but I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to answer me before I answer you. So Jesus, again, wasn't concerned about what the world was thinking, what they was, they was saying or what they was doing. And he said, before I answer you, you're going to answer me. Mm. And he asked him, he said, the baptism of John the Baptist, is that, is that of man or is that of heaven? And here Jesus is throwing the trick right back in their lap. Because <laughs> it says, you know, in that scripture, they, they reason among themselves saying, well, if we say from heaven, he'll say, well, then why don't you believe him? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they say, well, if we say of men, then the people are going to be mad at us. Yeah. So they, Jesus backed them in a corner. Yeah. They finally said, we cannot tell. And he said, neither do I tell you what authority <laughs> that I'm doing and teaching and preaching these things. Because Jesus isn't cornered by man. Remember the woman at the well when she was debating Scripture with Jesus? She said, the Jews says you ought to worship in the temple, and we say you ought to worship in the mountains. And Jesus just put a stop to their argument. He said, there's coming a time, and it now is, that if you want to worship God, you have to worship Him in spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. It's not in the mountains. Mm. It's not in the temple, but it's in your heart. Mm -hmm. Even the devil, Brother Craig, was trying to talk religion with Jesus after Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Bible said afterwards he was in a hunger. Mm -hmm. And they came and they said, if thou be the Son of God, cast these stones into bread. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, we see Satan, you know, using his tactic to try to define how it's going to be. God. You need to do it like this. Yeah. And, and he tempts us the same way today. Yeah. You know, we question the goodness of God. If you're really God, you would do it like we think it ought to be done. Yeah. So today, with whatever you're going through, I think it boils down to this, John, for our listeners. 
Trust God. And quit listening to the world telling us how to be Christians. 